Okay, we're out here in the country on the hillside. Gonna do a little mosing shoot today. This is Dakota, my grandson, and his buddy Mike. They'll be shooting. It's Dakota's turn, so. Alright. Oh, the barrel's hot. Watch it. So there's that. There's strip clip. Now lift, lift, lift up on the top of the front shell. There you go. Trying to hit this. For some reason, it, it won't uh, zoom and uh, record. Trying to make my ears ring. I have to put my ear protection in. Sit. Okay. I hit it. This is demolished. I want to see that thing like just break eventually. That's it. It's gonna blow up eventually. Okay, we done shot the Mosin. Now we're loading up the 22 pistol. We shot the 380. Now it's Michael's turn to see if he can hit anything. Boy's never shot before, but he's doing better than any of us. Okay, yeah. off the time being, be back in a bit. Well, hello, y'all. How y'all are? Well, that was a little couple clips back. Day out in the country. Went out there and shot around, oh, I don't know, 25, 30 rounds through the Mosin. Shot a box of 380s, uh, 22 rifle, 22 pistol. We just had a good time. Then we uh, went to the campfire and uh, showed the boys how to uh, make a, a fire with a, uh, steel and flint and uh, char cloth. 
I didn't get that because my darn batteries run out on the camera. And uh, it surprised me too. I mean, you could see in that video, that wind was kicking, Jack. I mean, it was, if you'd stand up, it, it would rock you. And that's the reason most of us wasn't hitting the broadside of the barn. But I'll tell you what, that motion was shooting pretty good now. I mean, you could get it in the ballpark. You could see how far we were shooting from. And uh, if it had been a deer down there, he'd be dead, I'm telling you. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, we had a good time. We, uh, we started the fire and, and sat around the campfire for a while and uh, roasted some uh, hot dogs. And, and then the boys, they, they wanted to go back in and play their video games. So I sit outside and watch the fire till it, it burnt down to where I thought it was safe to leave it. Uh, he had a nice pit built. Cody made a nice pit. It was about, oh, f foot and a half uh, deep. Uh, he had flat rocks piled up around. And then he had a, he had dug it down about six, eight inches. And so I stayed out there till, uh, the coals was, was pretty well died down and then I headed on back toward the house. So anyway, I just wanted to, uh, show you what we did today. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, y'all take care. God bless. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.